Okay. So I'm going to introduce uh, and moderate uh, uh, our last uh, session, the number four of this uh, little but uh, very interesting conference. The title for the session four is How to Assess the Trajectories of Rural Learning Territories, Practices and Governance, Resilience and Sustainability. Comment évaluer les trajectoires de territoires ruraux apprenants, pratiques et gouvernance, résilience et durabilité. We are going to start with uh, Celia Rodriguez Rosa from municipality of uh, Torre Orgaz. Hopefully she is with us now. Uh, and she is going to, to make a presentation and a communication about politics and governance from the point of view of ruralities. Uh, Celia, if you are here. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Then ideas disappear, give you the, the, the screen. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, okay. you know how to share your presentation? Uh, yes, uh, please. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, Celia to the tutor. I am Celia Rodriguez Rosa from Torrega, and today I'm going to talk to you about how public managers can contribute to their villages taking part of the identifiable problems that they suffer. Well, uh, right now we live in a society where villages are understood as strongholds from the past. Well, there we can see a, a man thinking, oh my god, where, what is right now happening in, in my village? <laughs> Well, uh, but are we sure that the future is in the States? Uh, obviously, I'm not, because of that I'm doing this presentation. <laughs> so what can we do to change that, perfect, that perception, at least as public managers, that is my case? From, my, from the very beginning, we have to be, aware, to be aware of our position. I mean, our deals that we can fight with are not. There are unmovable characters that we will not change in 4, 8, 12 years. We couldn't. But there are also others that may be possible with a structured solutions. Well, here we can see these problems that are intertwined, of course, uh, and I think that every little municipality has. Well, uh, that we can see youth and education, employment, digital device and use of resources. And I think that are the main four deals that every little village has in our 21th century. Okay, let's start. Yes, and education. Okay, as everyone here knows, uh, the population is one of our major risks. People uh, from villages are uh, going out. <laughs> People don't want to stay in our village. Um, um, Mm, also, it is important to anal analyze every group of age. I, I have uh, I have chosen uh, young people. Why? I mean, young people is the future from our village. And why do young people escape from here? And when some, at least in in my region, in my region, when someone is uh, 18 or transiting, goes to another villages to different objects, uh, but. I have to say that there is no sense in our answer, but as we have observed, it can function as a vicious circle, that uh, it is tough. So we, let's see. Uh, right now, uh, young people uh, had higher and higher and higher study level. So what they can find in our little villages, they don't look, uh, I mean, they can find that, but right now the labor market is is, is old-fashioned. There, there is a lack of opportunities in the rural areas adapted to this, uh, to this uh, demand. I mean, they, there is uh, no more traditional employees, but a lot of graduated and um, very strange <laughs> careers that are not fixed in this, in this, uh, in this place. So the, the result, the consequences are an unbalanced labor market. I mean, there is cities full of unemployed, graduated youngs that, in some cases, come from villages. Um, not in some. I, I would I would say that in most of them, 
And there are little villages empty of workers or graduated on of people with motivation that can give uh, little villages a little bit of life. <laughs> well, so ca what, how can we break this vicious cycle? Because it seems that no one can. Well, it is related with employment and with new, with new needles. What's up with employment? Is it employment right now? Uh, this uh, this answer that can break this circle? Well, I don't think so. Right now, uh, there are two uh, strategies uh, which are which are involved when, with uh, this uh, with this circle, with uh, unemployed and, or threat future employed uh, workers, re-skilled or unemployment compensation. Right now, uh, when you have uh, no more adapted skills to our labor market, what can we do? Uh, what, uh, there are two options. Uh, the first one is more social, re-skilled. Okay, it's better seen. Apparently, it's the best option, but I ask myself, is it really effective? Is it really effective? That, that's, uh, that really helps uh, that uh, villages uh, get more and more motivated. There are some culture in it's a pity, but there are some culture and generational biases that any education can move on. Gender jobs, digital device, and so over. So at the end, that that doesn't change anything. And for example, Torrega had a, a very interesting uh, education program that at the end we were one year or two years, and there were very interesting um, courses, but no one would like to be there and would, uh, at the end, two years later, we were out because that really changed anything. That is a pity, but it's true. And the other option is unemployment compensation. Actually, it's the most used, it is the most uh, loved by people because you have money and you have a public uh, exam and you get it. But what actually creates that? At the end, uh, there are always the same people. And we have studied that because as a uh, public agent, we have the, the list and we see that there is always the same, the same people. There is no competition, lower and lower and lower level of formation. And obviously, that, get, that, get, uh, that goes anyway. Uh, obviously, there are lower salaries and lower because the money is there. So in summary, they create some uh, survival situations. So that's, that motivated anyone. So that goes any, anywhere. But from another point of view, how are they distributed? I mean, uh, there is only, only the fault of people that only want uh, lower salaries and don't want to do anything. There is some agents that have a, a, a word in this, in this situation. Well, I have here an example that how experience employment plan in extreme function, uh, function. How do really work unemployment compensation in extreme uh, goes on and runs? It's quite interesting because we are talking about motivation, we are talking about how how things really go on, but from the very uh, public agents that have the, the money, the structure solutions, the programs, make some plans that if you analyze them you think it is really is it really a, a real solution well i am going to explain you because why i say that here we can see uh, three villages torregaz torregemara and torremocha torregaz is my village and torregemara and torremocha are um, the villages which are in the near from mine okay we had an uh, uh, experience employment plan to help unemployed uh, person, people. Okay, so we have here three, 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 da three dates, uh, dates, uh, sorry, um, numbers. Active population from every, from each uh, village, unemployed inhabitants, and the percentage of unemployment. Okay, so um, here is the money, the, the final money. So we can see that uh, Alto Torrega is the less uh, has the less uh, percentage of unemployment has the most uh, higher 
amount of uh, subsidy. In this part of uh, Torremocha, who has uh, the most, uh, um, sorry, Torremada, who has the higher uh, percentage of unemployment and has the lower. Why this has happened? How, uh, how it really affects, um, uh, uh, this, how it really helps people when even the public solutions are not adapted to our situation. I mean, well, uh, here we have this example, and I think that I, I have explained, at least I have tried good. So I'd let you make your own conclusions. Uh, later, if you want, we can talk about that. <laughs> so, this, the other was, uh, the other, the other subject were employment, but we have to talk necessarily about digital device because this is necessary and very important in a labor market or right now in our real life, in our daily lives. I mean, right now we are going, doing a conference digital. Okay. We, I have divided uh, this subject in two, in two areas, uh, at home and at work. Okay. At home, why is so important, and who, where is the uh, paper uh, of a digital device at home? In villages, right now, at least in my region, there is almost no access to optical fiber. Right now, in 21st century, in the middle of a global pandemic, there is no access to optical fiber. We have uh, no fast, um, almost fast, no uh, good internet. For example. If we look for uh, if we look for fiber in the villages that we have uh, seen before, we realize that Torrega, I mean my village, is the only one that has a uh, fiber optical. The other one has not. And one thing, Torrega is only uh, has only one uh, network uh, server. Its consequent uh, its consequence, sorry, lower competition, lower quality. So. Let us think about a little bit about the meters and how we can use them. And that is a and that creates a real, real difference between people from states and from villages. On the other side, at work, it is quite interesting how at work in villages there is a no no adaptation of uh, um, digitalization uh, market. Right now in our world. Uh, the fourth industrial uh, um, uh, the fourth industrial revolution is here. It's being settled. This industry is an increasing use of digital medium for almost every aspect in our lives. But but in villages, we are not even adapt to so social media. So how can we uh, go through it? Some solutions to do that are to implant them in traditional jobs. Uh, making them more attractive, less harder. For example, I, I, for example, cameras to watch cattle are not being so much time in, I don't know. We have to go little by little, but not letting that apart, because in 50 years, maybe uh, our medias are, have, uh, de have developed so much that right now we didn't uh, believe that. And right now, in our villages, people even understand social media, computers, and we cannot um, go in on like that because the difference will be uh, um, higher and higher. I mean, another another problem that I think that is quite interesting from the point of view of municipality is the use of resources. I mean. Which are those resources so bad, uh, which are so bad used that uh, made us uh, don't uh, making a good use for that? Well, as we can see here, we can see um, water, electricity, and the use of highways or roads. Um, related to the use of natural resources as electricity and water, it's quite interesting analyzing them at the same time. Extremadura is a region with long-term drugs, with it is, uh, but it is curious how the costs are lower than the use of electricity, for example. On the other hand, in water, there is no intermediator. 
as in electricity with big private companies as Iber Iberdrola or, or Gas Natural. Even, even being uh, a much scarcer resource in our area, it is less protected than electricity. And right now, uh, I ask you, uh, why is water more public than electricity? To what extent do public uh, entities have to interfere in private affairs? I don't know. However, turning the question around, uh, to what extent is electricity private? Well, I led you this question there. <laughs> and well, finally, and about uh, roads and highway access, uh, it's obvious that uh, this uh, access to roads and to highways uh, has ha has an incredible development in the last 20 years. It's, it's obvious. And no one can dispute that. But I let in the air some reflection. Uh, don't you think that uh, an easier access to everything has made us, from the point of view of the municipality, I insist, uh, forget about what we have around us? I mean, instead of going from, instead of going to the event that there is in the Next village, uh, we go to take something to the uh, city, which is 20 more kilometers far away. That is an interesting point of view. Well, and finally, we have seen uh, all these aspects that uh, affect to our um, our municipality. But what we can do? With that, I mean, we have right now we have all this information, and we have two options: having it and let it here, or thinking about possible solutions. Not in not immediate immediately solutions, obviously, but think a little bit about what we can do with that. Uh, okay, from my point of view, from a Terrelaz point of view, at least. Uh, we can point out uh, the main aspect uh, that can summarize everything that we have talked about. Uh, municipalism and short-termism. Okay, what, what is municipalism? The Commonwealth, uh, the, the union of uh, little villages uh, at the level of politics and governance would have to be to begin by ending that obsession of all everything that in turn is the essence of that. I mean, why uh, every village, every little village that maybe has only 500 inhabitants want to have every service, a uh, swimming pool, library, I don't know, everything. It's necessary. Why don't we do not create a community in which uh, the cooperation is not, is not op optional, it's needed. In this way, we would uh, motivate the, this cooperation, this relationship that little validity will be created and will be more solid. That is, for example, one option. And the other time, uh, and, the, and the other, the other hand, for, on the other hand, sorry, short termism. Well, that is not uh, uh, anything new. Mm, we need time to make things. It's not. It's not something. It's not something new, or I mean, uh, we have to we have to learn from our mistakes. Um, starting something new, it depends on. No, no, sorry, <laughs> doesn't depend on two, three, four years or four years. It's not uh, an isolated case. We we need more than a generation. We need we need something that goes on with the time, and not uh, change with the political swing or the change of, I don't know, of some factors. And well, what solutions, uh, I, I ask you, what solutions do you propose or what uh, right now have to think about? Well, I propose this, for example, these are, which are in the tree, for example, distribution of activities, motivate rural cooperation, and keep generations development. I don't know. That, uh, at the end, uh, everything is trying to do ma to do our best, and as public managers, uh, hear what uh, our people, our inhabitants uh, need. Well, 
Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I think that you have uh, enjoyed the presentation. And if there is any question, Celia, uh, any uh, question, uh, please tell me and I will answer you with pleasure. Thank you so much.